All right, today I'm gonna segregate the EGR, the DPF, and the DEF filter. So it's kind of warm right now. Um, I'm gonna wait for it to cool down. So I took this uh, cover off, and uh, the cover goes right here. Uh, now you have to take put this off, this V-band clamp, uh, four bolts electrical connectors same here and then we'll take the cooler off and the servo motor all right guys well i took all the egr stuff off the cooler the valve basically it's pretty easy you just put the block blocking plate off and the exhaust plates and then you install this bracket right here which uh, holds this hose the dipstick the breather tube makes it all stable this is basically the EGR part and it's finished. Uh, now I'm going to take uh, the DPF, the DEF, the whole exhaust, turbo back, and it's in four sections. So we have the tailpipe section, the axle uh, dump, then we have uh, this filter, the catalytic converter. So you got this section and there's that one and then there's the downpipe so I'll be taking them off by section starting from the tail end to the turbo and then uh, when I go to put on my turbo back exhaust I'll start from the turbo end and work my way back so this is the very tip tail of the tailpipe uh, to take that uh, rubber exhaust bushing Whatever it's called, I just use a crowbar and I stuck it in like this and I just pried it against the pipe and then I wiggled it and um, I just wiggled it out and it came off. So this is the last section. Now I'm going to move over to, over to that one. So this section has uh, four wires. You got one here, uh, one here, that's three here. And then you come over to this side. And then you got this right there. I believe that's some kind of injection system. Maybe for the def. And then you pull this, uh, pull these bolts off. And then you have uh, some um, rubber exhaust bushings on one in here. And then you have one in the middle. And then I'll, I'll just slide it off. And I'll take care of this piece. And then we'll move over to uh, this filter after. So I took the second section off and you basically uh, have those wires, these two uh, rubber mounts. Then you gotta pull a piece off here on this injector. And then you pull off the four bolts that are right here. One of the studs gave me problems and it was going through so I had to tack weld it. But and then just slides out pretty easy uh, you don't need no special tool for the exhaust hangers the rubber hangers i just use the pry bar and pry it against something and they come off pretty easy like this one right here i just put the pry bar against the frame popped it popped it right out i'm gonna keep this one in place because i still need to install the new uh, straight pipe but now i have to go to this section and then after this it's the uh, down pipe from the turbo but this one's going to be easier because it's smaller. So basically this section has uh, three connectors. Uh, you have this uh, one connector here on the top. You don't take off this assembly. Uh, these are these attached there. So um, you just take this wire off. And then you have this wire for this sensor or whatever it is. It's right here. And then you have a second one right there. So there's three. And then... You got three bolts right here and then it'll just slide out uh, once you pop the uh, hangers and that's that'll take care of this all right so i took the section off um you got one plug here uh, two and then the third one's right here all that stuff stays on this dpf filter uh, three bolts the top one is pretty tough to get out but i slowly managed to get it out and then i just slide it out this way don't worry about these hangers. They're pretty easy to get off. Now what I have left is 
this turbo down pipe and it's just one v-band clamp and then you got um to unplug this plug and that'll be it so basically i put the whole uh straight pipe turbo back down to tail end and i started with the turbo down pipe put it on and uh, then i put this section on i put the clamp but i didn't tighten it and then i kept i kept putting them on in sections because they're pretty short and it's easier to do that and as i was going on i was putting them onto the uh, rubber hangers then i put this section on and then the tail end I actually i first put the tail uh side on then the axle dump side because this one right here you actually got to cut it to length if you have a long bed or a mega cab but i have a short bed so i cut it to length i measured it and then i put it together and uh i put all the clamps on i tightened the clamps and now it's sturdy and um yeah let's hear it start so i put the egr delete kit on the turbo back exhaust uh, now the last step here is to uh, flash the ecm tune it uh, with the easy link system so basically you load the app the easy link app um, then you got to turn your wi-fi on so that i could link connecting so vehicle not detected uh, i guess i gotta turn the power on all right i put it into the run position but don't start the engine don't crank it retry only this time so now I'm in the app, it's showing me all my gauges. Obviously I'm not moving. My temperature's at 46. Go here to vehicle, ECM profiles. I'm gonna do the, the no emissions with the transmission tune, uh, just the stock, no horsepower added. So we're gonna install this. This ECU profile will update the following updates. Proceed. And um, it's gonna take a little while. I'll let you, I'll show you guys after it's done. Oh, I gotta turn it off. Continue. Put it on the run position. Continue. All right, this is where the update starts and I'll get back to you guys once it's close to getting done. So it's at 99% right now. Let's see what happens when it reaches 100. Basically all my lights just turned on. I'm just playing. All right, uh, place ignition in the off position. Oh, it's off. Continue. Place it in the on position. Continue. Installation was completely successful. Let's go. All right, guys. Um, it's installed now. Let's turn on our dashboard. Check out our stuff here. And let's start it. So for all the uh, wiring connectors to the EGR and the DPF and DEF, I just kind of taped them off and kind of tucked them away under a frame or uh, uh, taped them around another wire harness so that they're not dangling or catching on to the exhaust. So that's the full delete on the 6.7 Cummins. Um, some things I uh, recommend or advise is you know, get the four inch pipe because you know it might not be as loud 
but it's easier to install.